Today we're reviewing some health ripoffs at the pharmacy. What is and isn't worth your money? Pharmacist and columnist Susie Cohen is here with her answers. Your dear pharmacist columnist is fabulous. Touches the lives of 20 million people. So you're talking about stuff all the time to a lot of folks. What are the biggest ripoffs in your opinion? Oh, well, it's the body. The body's getting ripped off of vitamins and minerals by the medications that we take, mm. and it causes side effects. Now, this is scientifically called the drug nutrient depletion effect, but it's what I call the drug mugger effect. And a classic example of this is with women who take birth control pills or medications for menopause. Now, this can rob the body of certain nutrients and minerals that we need to make happy brain chemicals and thyroid hormone. So over time, they may develop hypothyroidism, or depression and never connected to their medication. The big ripoff for millions of Americans is this drug mugger effect, and it's so easy to solve. Now, we're not just losing vitamins and minerals in the pharmacy, we're losing a lot of money in other aisles too. I'm going to talk about some of those money issues in particular. Let's go to the first ripoff. It's in the cold and flu section. And again, this is partly monetary, but also you're taking a risk you shouldn't. So explain what the big ripoff is here. Right. Well, people will pay up to $15 or $20 for a multitasking product, and I don't think they should. I think they should focus their medicine on their particular symptom. Just target it based on what you're feeling. A single ingredient could be about $5 as compared to $15 or $20 for a fancy one. So give me an, an idea of the exact ingredient you'd be looking for. For example, if I've got you know, a cough. Okay, so for a cough that's dry and hacking, I would suggest a single ingredient called DM, or dextromethorphan. Now, if you have body aches and pains, I would suggest ibuprofen or acetaminophen. If you have a runny nose, choose an antihistamine. If your nose is stuffed up, I would suggest pseudoephedrine. All right, so you've got specific things we can target. And again, we're going to put these all on DrOz.com, but it's that kind of targeted approach keeps you safe, too, because you don't have multiple chemicals running around in your body. Right, and you don't feel like a zombie by taking a product that addresses eight or ten symptoms. Same time. Okay, next ripoff at the pharmacy is in the travel aisle. This one surprised me. Yes. This is really annoying because basically you're going to pay up to $2 for a little tiny shampoo that you can use once or twice. You're paying for convenience here. If you're willing to buy a little plastic bottle and then just refill it with your favorite shampoo from at home, you can do this for 10 or 15 cents as compared to a couple of bucks. Just remember, refilling plastic puts money in your purse. Very smart. The next group up at the pharmacy is filling unnecessary prescriptions. What do you mean by this? Okay, this is particularly important for people who don't have pharmacy coverage or who don't have a prescription copay. Basically, you wind up paying the pharmacist two, three hundred dollars for a prescription, and you may not be able to take it. Let's say you're allergic to it or you can't tolerate it for some reason, you're stuck with it. So one thing you can do is buy an over-the-counter version. It's just a lower dosage. You can see if you can get by on that. And if you can, it saves a lot of money. Now, if you can't get by on that particular dosage, you can always talk to your pharmacist or your physician about upping the dosage. But buying an over-the-counter version to a prescription counterpart can save a lot of money. I guess I do this a lot in my own practice. So if you've got an ache or a pain, I get you a less expensive version that's over-the-counter. And remember, to be over-the-counter, they use a lower dose, as Susie said. All we do is give you a little bit more of it. And we save you a lot of money. It's easier to get. You can get similar benefits, and there are many, many examples of that. One of the questions I get asked a lot, brand versus generic. Oh, great question. You know what? By law, the generic drugs have to have the same exact ingredient, and they have to be manufactured to the same quality levels as the brand name version. So buying a store brand generic will save a lot of money. You know what? Who needs the pretty package when you can yeah. save all that money? Great advice is always, Susie. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right, it's time for In Case You Missed It, and my bonus tips are coming up, and I saved the biggest rip-offs.